Hello again guys, this is another tutorial brought to you by HM Studios and today I'm going to show you a very cool Photoshop tutorial that, that this tutorial is uh, turning a picture into into a broken glass like your picture is going to look like a broken glass at the end this is a, a totally cool effect and you will love it so let's get started open your picture the picture you would like to apply the effect on I have a picture of Eva Mendez. First thing you're gonna do is unlock unlock the picture by by making it a layer. So double click on it. You can either put a name on it or just leave it. And then click OK. Then next thing by holding down the control key or command key on on the Mac click on the new layer by holding the control key down that that that's gonna put the the duplicate layer under the the picture so and then you need you need to fill that with uh, with white so by holding down the control key and clicking backspace or delete on that then you need to add a mask on the picture so by holding down alt because when we need to fill the mask with black you must hold down the alt key and click on the mask on this picture down here it's gonna add a black layer mask on top of the picture then you must click the tool the the paint with the paintbrush and go on the paintbrush palette and here you're gonna click on the side you're gonna go down to square you're gonna go to square brushes which is down here you can click on that okay it's gonna show you the square brushes so click on the square brush 20 click on and then click on shape dynamics there you're gonna the size jitter you're gonna put it all the way up to 100 and then you're gonna go scattering you're gonna move the the scatter to about 7 7 45 or 7 44 and then just close it now this is where the tutorial I mean this is where the effects gonna start so now you gonna you gonna paint over the picture but here you gonna switch the you see the blacks on top and the whites on the bottom you're gonna switch to be the whites gonna be on top and the black on the bottom and now you must so you can paint over over the black mask with layer mask with with white and that's gonna show the picture underneath it for better results you might you might want to use a, a small brush about like 20 or 18 and then just this is going to show the face all you're doing is just uh, painting over the mask with white to so just get the face there you go there you see the face her face Keep filling in. I'm going to make the brush a little bigger. Paint on. Then, then if you turn the black on top, that's gonna make the picture disappear. It's gonna, cause you're painting over black on black, so it's gonna make the end of the picture. And I'm gonna turn it again to white, so I can make the effect even better by leaving some. See here, the lip looks very scattered, and the hand looks like it.
and if you see like it looks like it's all is like broken glass but that's not it now we're gonna make the effect look even look even more real so first duplicate the layer with the layer mask drag it down here duplicate it and now we're gonna go on filter blur radial we're gonna we're gonna make a zoom about you can you can do it from 65 up to 75 I'm gonna do it about 68 and then you can you can you gonna drag this where where the face is so you can get about where you see the face on the on the picture you're gonna drag the up here about right here and then click OK it's gonna blur the picture you see that now just no way first click on the layer mask which is right here and then switch it to black and paint over it this this is gonna bring up the picture underneath it I'll make a bigger brush there you see the picture coming up And here you see like like the picture is broken into pieces you can make it even more realistic if you take a lot of time on it but I did it fast just to show you so that's pretty much all you do and you get this and it looks pretty it looks pretty real but you can make it even more realistic if you take more time so please and try it and try it the many many times because if you try more you get better and so okay thank you for watching this tutorial and please check out all my other tutorials and leave some comments thank you